Well, he conquered the world of tennis at the age of 20, becoming the youngest ever number one ranked player in history. We just love him to his name. There are 30 single titles, including two Grand Slams, making him without doubt one of Australia's greatest ever on-court stars. If you don't know who we're talking about... <laughs> Come on! Come on! Oh, now, Layton, I thought yeah. you were going to do it. <laughs> now, Leighton Hewitt is adding a new accolade to his name, Tennis Hall of Famer. Oh, good. And, yes, you can see the man himself is joining us right now from Melbourne. Congrats, Leighton. Yay. Such good news. Thanks, guys. How you doing? Yeah, no, it's fantastic. Um, you know, it's a bit of a surprise always. It's when you're playing throughout your career, it's not something that you focus on at all. So um, a couple of weeks ago when I got a call from Stan Smith, who was obviously one of the absolute greats of uh, American tennis, and, and he told me that I was going to be inducted into the 2021 uh, class in the Hall of Fame in Newport there in Rhode Island. It was something very special. No, to tell us about that phone call, um, my friend, because I um, mean, you of all people know how hard you worked. <laughs> Um, you know how difficult it was even yeah, to get it was one a strange title. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. I was actually at a junior tournament with my son Cruz um, and he was just going off for his match and then mm. all of a sudden my phone started ringing in my pocket and uh, I wasn't sure if I should answer it and then it came up Stan Smith. So I thought, yeah, I better take this one. Um, and no, uh, it was great. It's always good to catch up with those old champions from the past. And um, I've always loved the history and tradition of the sport of tennis as well. And, and here in Australia, We've had so many greats over the years. So, you know, when I look back on, on all the great Australians that have actually, you know, been inducted into the Hall of Fame, it, it's something that I'm going to be very proud of. What a fabulous yeah. full circle moment, yeah. receiving that news while you're watching your own child out on the court. <laughs> and take us back, rewind the clock for us. Your father, your uncle, your grandfather all excelled at AFL. So footy was in your blood. How was it that tennis became your sport of choice? Yeah, I, I love footy. Uh, I still do to this day. I'm still the number one ticket holder for the Adelaide Crows. And um, that, that was my real passion growing up was AFL football. And it wasn't until I got to about the age of 14 or 15 that um, tennis started to just gradually take over. And, and the opportunities to travel in junior Australian teams overseas to, to the big tournaments over in Europe. And, and then I wasn't able to be here in winter in Australia and play the footy season. And, and so I started having more success on the tennis court. And, um, I was fortunate that I was able to make that transition from juniors to seniors, which is normally the really tough part about being a professional tennis player, but I was able to do it pretty quickly um, and sort of establish myself on the ATP Tour from a very young age, which, um, you know, I guess the inner belief and all the hard work and sacrifices you make as, uh, you know, as a teenager, um, for me, in the end, it paid off. You know what? We're just looking at this most wonderful vision of you mm. um, back with, with one of the greatest mullets of all time. Um, my son had one very similar. <laughs> actually, he looks like my son Jacko, doesn't he? Still got um, they've yeah. come back in again. Yeah, sure has. So now. With a vengeance, with a vengeance. <laughs> just what do you put that down to? Um, that, that inner belief, I mean, it's, I guess some are, are, are more predisposed to it than others. Do you have to work on it? Is it inherent in you? Is it in your DNA? How do you explain that and, you know, to, to a child out there who yeah. might be listening now? Uh, well, I think always going out there and giving 100% in everything you do, and, and that's what I prided myself on um, ever since I was a young kid, and, and not having any excuses or regrets. Um, so you're mm. not going to win every time you step out in the tennis court or, or anything in life, but if you go out there and give 100%, then you, know, you can always be extremely proud of yourself. And that's what I focused on always on the practice court was trying to make myself better in some way. Um, so having a real purpose with my training as well. Um, and then once you get onto the match court, it, it's more just knowing your game plan and what you need to do and then trying to execute it as best as you can. Unreal. You're an absolute champ. You deserve Superstar. to be among the best ever. And we're so <laughs> thrilled for you with this wonderful acknowledgement of your great achievements. Thank you so much for joining us. Congrats and love to Beck and the kids as well. No worries. Thanks heaps, guys.